So the start of this uh, spring offensive, even though, as Sean was saying, it's not yet spring. Well, yes, you can probably see behind me, it's very wintry, not spring at all. But I think um, the most interesting and important um, thing to come out today from the head of NATO was that very clear warning that he made to Western allies about this race for logistics that is really on right now, basically underlining the fact that whoever is able to make weapons fastest and whoever is able to supply ammunition fastest will have the edge in this war and will most likely win. And Jens Stoltenberg was really underlining the challenge that's facing Western allies now, allies that since the end of the Cold War have massively reduced their capacity to produce weapons at speed and scale, the scale that's needed for the Ukrainian military right now given the amount of ammunition they're having to use against Russia. Russia has its own problems with its logistics and supply chain. It's under heavy sanctions, but it has a huge industrial base. The, uh, the president is trying to put his economy more and more onto a war footing. It means that um, factories are being cranked into military production from civilian production. It's the kind of thing that really needs to start happening fast across the UK, for example, and other European nations. The head of NATO singled out the US and France, saying they were among the allies that have started to take this genuinely seriously. But to give you a sense of the challenge, he said that because the demand is so great and the supply is so small, it's actually taking longer and longer now to produce and receive these weapons. If you put an order in now for a large caliber missile, it's not going to, ar to arrive for two and a half years. And that compares with 12 months before the invasion, which was already a long time. It's a big challenge. He's clearly uh, alive to it. You've got defence ministers meeting um, in, at NATO headquarters this week for a couple of days. There's also a big security conference happening later in the week in Germany. And absolutely, Ukraine and this support for Ukraine is going to be at the heart of that. And logistics really count. They might sound boring, but they really matter.